Approximately 700 employees plus about 86 physicians and another 23 nurse practitioners. We have about 21 locations over about seven, seven counties in the local St. Louis area. We have over 200,000 patients in our patient database, which sees over a half a million uh, visits per year. Went from having about 300 PCs and about eight servers, and now we're over 1,400 PCs and 300 uh, virtual desktops and uh, about 120 servers. About half of those are virtualized. We needed a lot of new hardware, and we thought the virtual desktops would be the ideal situation to be able to roll those out with WISE terminals. And if we needed to make quick changes to a virtual image, we would be able to do that within seconds. Redesigning our, our full IT infrastructure <clears throat> and negotiating with other companies such as HP, Cisco, uh, Xyotech, and, and Dell at the time, we expanded our data center at that point. We needed almost 200 additional PCs to handle the expansion while well, we end up doing most of those, uh, or all of those as uh, virtual desktops. So we were deploying that. We were gonna either have to, to buy 200, actually close to 250 PCs. Uh, and so we looked at the expense of that versus looking at doing virtual desktop. With the Citrix application, you're able to boot up many desktops before working hours in the morning. So if you got 100 people that log in roughly at the same time, those machines are ready to go. And then as those get logged into, it'll start booting up others. Centrally manage everything in one spot in your data center. And it's secure. So you can't worry about someone picking up a laptop and running out with it with critical data on it, company data. Uh, everything's stored centrally. Some of the big things that we were seeing was we're saving on energy costs for example, uh, we're almost $80 per unit uh, in, in energy savings versus a PC. It's a lot easier to ghost an imp, a PC and, and sit it, stick it out there for someone to use. Uh, but there's also so much easier to update one image and have 200 workstations done in an instant and not have to worry about it. So there's a lot more control, there's a lot of benefits. The biggest benefit is we could virtually send out thin clients to an office, they can plug them into the network and they're ready to go without an IT personnel really being on site. Or if, if a thin client goes bad, we're able to, again, send it out to the user, say, swap this out and you'll be ready to go. And they'll get the same desktop that they had before they switch that hardware out. Our support costs are down because of, the, of that from uh, the, the virtual desktop units versus our PC units, we get a lot less calls on, on them than what we do with, with the others. And frankly, you're looking at 10 year lifetime potentially with a thin client versus uh, a PC that you might get three years, three to five years out. The three things to look for as far as deploying a, a VDI and storage solution is one, ease of use of the, of the management interface of the SAN, your, ar your architecture that you're deploying, and then providing the necessary tools and resources for your staff. Uh, so you want to make sure that it, it's easy to deploy out and quickly connect to your, to your SAN and to add additional storage when needed. Uh, the Xyrotech's great because you can just right click on it, say I need to add 200 gig and you add, bam, it's there on that drive. So it, with no impact that we've seen as far as expanding the drive. Um, the, the ability to just add a new data pack in order to expand your overall disk capacity is it, such a simple process. Um, providing the tools to, uh, to your staff to where they can easily manage, look at the statistics of the IOs of both the SAN as well as your, of your VDI sessions and, and connectivity to those sessions in order to keep your support costs down. Our main application is SQL Server, so we had to make sure that we had good I.O. speeds for our SQL Server. Then with the deployment of the virtual desktops, we wanted to make sure we had room off there. And, and literally, we purchased 13 terabyte for our initial purchase, and after our expansion, and we got things up and running, running it was like we opened up the floodgates. Really, my biggest thing is, is look at the numbers, look at your rotation of your existing equipment, and if you can fit it in during that period of time, that's really the way to do it. Or if you got an expansion, it's definitely the time to do it. It just outperforms, I mean, the specs you see out there, it's proven that the Xyotech outperforms all the others. 
and in our environment we've seen that compared to our previous storage that we had. It just works. I mean. <laughs>